Hello, and welcome to another quick tutorial from Learning is Change. My name is Ben Wilkoff, and today we're going to be talking about how you can create a live PDF of a Google document. The reason why you might want to do this is because if you click the publish button on a Google Doc, it does two things. One, it creates a published version of that Google Doc that only updates once every five minutes rather than as people are making updates to that Google Doc. And two, the published version of a Google Doc is hideous. It does not take any of the good formatting, both in terms of margins, as well as in terms of all of the other amazing things you can do to format pictures and to format tables. It's got none of that. It is just gross looking. And so what this way of doing things does is it lets you create a live PDF Every single time somebody makes an edit, it updates and you can see it in a preview. You can also embed this PDF into any system you want, whether that's WordPress or another CMS, as well as you can do it within a, uh, a Google site. So any kind of platform that you want to use, this will work for. So we're going to start with a blank Google document here. Um, it's absolutely untitled, but we can call it what we would like and we'll just call it uh, check out this live PDF. Um, and in order to get the process going, we're going to do two things. One is we're going to publish it so that we can see what that looks like. So if I publish to the web, I click File, Publish to the Web. I click the Publish button. Are you sure you want to publish? I absolutely am. And it'll give me this link. Now, I could embed this or I could link to it. Uh, but again, it's going to have terrible formatting and we're going to have problems with the lag. So let's check out what that looks like. So if I open up a new tab and, and check out this, you see this update updated automatically every five minutes rather than instantaneously. Um, so I'm going to type something into the Google Doc. Um, this is lagging. And uh, I've taken my time with that. Uh, but if I click the refresh button over here, it does not refresh. It does not have that information anywhere within this published document. It's going to take another few minutes for that to show up. Now, we can pull the live PDF of it just by editing the URL string. So at the very end of the URL, it says PUB for public or published. But what we can change this to be is export question mark format equals PDF. Now you can do that to change it to, you know, DOCs and it'll download the document version, but we're going to use the PDF version. Um, and what's going to happen here is it'll download that PDF and I've got it set up where it automatically opens. Um, and obviously it has, this is lagging in there. And I believe if I click the refresh button, yep, still not there in that published version because it's lagging so much. Now, we can take that link, that wonderful link that we have here, which was just export, question mark, format, and then equals PDF. If I copy that over, and I'm just going to put that into my Google Doc right here. So I've got this great URL that I can grab a snapshot of the PDF, but that's not live. I can't embed that. It just downloads it. In order for me to be able to embed that or to share it more widely, rather than having people download these snapshot versions, and uh, we want people to be able to see it. So in order to do that, we're going to click the share button in the top right corner, and we're going to make this publicly viewable on the web. So uh, it's going to change that if I click on the, uh, you know, make the uh, shareable link. Uh, I need to change this. Not only can anyone view, but it needs to be public on the web. And I'm going to just click save. So now anyone on the internet can find and view this particular document. Now all I got to do is load up the Google Drive or Google Docs viewer for PDFs. Now, if you've ever looked into your Google Drive, you can view PDFs that are stored there. But what we want to do is view a live version of this Google document as a PDF. We've already got a format that allows us to download the PDF, but we need to find the viewer. Okay. So all we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit to the beginning of that particular URL. We're going to do our HTTPS colon slash slash 
Once again, it's the same docs.google.com. And then it's slash viewer question mark URL equals. And that URL is going to be the string that we've already got. That URL for the downloadable version of that particular PDF of that of the Google Doc. We just added the viewer part of it to the very beginning. And if I open up a new tab and paste that in, what we're going to get is a live version of this Google Doc. And so what I can do is I can uh, change this to this is no longer lagging. And once it says save all save, uh, all of those changes are saved in Drive, I click the refresh button. It is perfectly there. It is updating up to the very second. Now what's great about this is that I can share this link. I can, um, I can share this particular link and I can embed it. Um, this is something that allows me to, uh, to, to share, to open up uh, a lot of different opportunities for the live Google document. If I add images to the Google document, it'll show up here. If I have multiple editors, it'll show up here. The other thing that this lets me do is create a view only version of this Google document. Once I have shared a Google document open to the world, and now every time that someone comes here, um, they are gonna have to open up the full editor of a Google Doc. But by sharing it this way in this live PDF version, you actually have the ability to, uh, to create the view only so that more than 50 people can take part in that viewing, in the viewing as well as in um, the ability to, to share it more broadly. So this is how you, you set it up. You open up your new Google Doc. You publish it to the world. You also share it for anyone on the internet to be able to see. And then you use that lovely string that we created, which has this part of the viewer right here. Put that in red. And then this second part, which is just that publish link that we tweak just slightly. So we have the viewer, and then it's also the format of that PDF. Thank you so much for watching this quick tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments.